Ever been confronted with this scary BitLocker recovery dialog and not knowing what to do next? To get the computer to boot, you need to enter your recovery key. And if you don't have access to your recovery key, you'll be unable to recover any data stored on that computer. If you've set up your computer with a Microsoft account, you can use another device to navigate to aka.ms slash myrecoverykey. Log in with your Microsoft account and you'll see a list of backed up recovery keys. Find the key with the same starting identifier, enter the key into the BitLocker recovery dialog, and your system will unlock and boot. To make sure that you have access to a BitLocker recovery key, make sure that they're backed up to your Microsoft account or to an external USB stick using the BitLocker item in the control panel. After you've backed those keys up, check that they're stored just in case you'll need them in future. You can also use this control panel to disable BitLocker. One of the things that BitLocker does is encrypts your computer's hard drive so that if you lose the computer, no one can recover the data stored on your disk. It can be scary if you don't know how to make it right when it goes wrong, but if you're prepared, it's another good tool in your security toolkit.